Hey guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can issue invoices on QuickBooks Self-Employed. To issue invoice on QuickBooks Self-Employed, we need to go to Invoices section. From here, click on Create Invoice button. Now, on the top section, we need to add information about my client. If it's completely new client, just start typing details in. So in my case, I will have Rachel, but if you have one of uh, already available customers that you have issued invoices previously, it will show up on drop down list. So you can select uh, one of those. So I have Rachel and Rachel will be automatically added to my contact list now. Make sure that you add client email address because without email address, you cannot save this invoice as a draft nor send out to customer. Add the client info like address, town and postcode if you have those available. Invoice number will be automatically generated by system. Select an invoice date. So in my case, I will have 19 July and also select a due date if that's applicable. I will leave 27th of my, as my due date. Now we can add a services or products what we've been selling. So let's add services. So I have washing and ironing services. So if you have previously already issued invoices for this particular service, you can just select from drop down list and it will fill in details based on previous invoice, what you have issued to client, whichever client. So it will pick up la latest information what's been used for that invoice. So I can change by selecting if I want to issue invoice to this customer based on a flat rate. So there will be just one amount. I can invoice based on hours. So for example, uh, five hours at rate of 35. Or I can also issue invoice based on items and the same quantity and rate. Once you have added information here, click on add to invoice. To add another line, click on add work. So for example, um, delivery and uh, delivery of goods, what I washed and ironed and that is 15 pounds and click add to invoice. If I want to remove any of lines, click off one of those bins if you require. Okay. Next two boxes are where you can provide payment details and where you can provide any additional message if you wish to, to client. If you tick on these two boxes, the messages from both boxes will, will be showed up on future invoices. Now we have option to send an invoice, preview or save as a draft. I will send this invoice out. On left hand side, I have available email message to who I want to send and if I want to add any additional email addresses and distribute this invoice out. You can change this information apart from your email address cannot be changed. This is how invoice will look like on the right hand side and I can send, I can go back to uh, invoice and edit it or save as a draft. So I will click send this invoice out. Now invoice 110 has been distributed out to Rachel. In this episode, I showed you how you can issue invoices on QuickBooks Self-Employed. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.